Alright, alright, alright. What's up, guys? Average Gamer signing on back with another video. We are back on Reg G. We are what? Well, I think Worlds actually starts tomorrow. World Championships. I think it's the first World Championship with a one restricted Pokemon format. And I thought to myself, I remember like maybe a couple weeks back, I started a series of like finding my Reg G team, right? And I got just so addicted to like doing VGC challenges that I completely forgot about it. And with Reg G coming to an end after this World Championships and then coming back at the start of 2025, I thought let's make one more video before World starts. And let's actually make a team, not a VGC challenge, let's make an actual team that I'll think about using. So we got this team here, a Kali Shadow team that I made maybe like a couple of days ago. Kind of experimented with it, did a couple things, but I wanted to use Pokemon that I liked because I've been playing Reg G for what? Two, three months? I ain't gonna lie, man, it gets really boring. That's one of the reasons we did VGC challenges. It makes the game a little bit more fun for me, but let's get back and playing the game a little bit more seriously. Let's go through this team before we do. Be sure to like and subscribe. As always, we passed 300 subs. Thank you guys so much for the support. And hopefully, some of you can come along for the journey. Now, uh, basically, as I said, Cali Shadow Team, Tornadus, very basic set. We actually went max special attack on this one because we want to do as much damage to Rillaboom as possible, particularly due to a little slug that we have on the bottom right of your screen. Basic set, Tailwind, Protect, Taunt, Bleak Wind, Dark Terror to avoid taunts from uh, Whimsicott, Covert Cloak to avoid fake outs. Caloric Shadow, as I said, we actually go in with the spec set. I experimented, I experimented with a couple things. I think I like specs the most, to be honest, at least right now. Full Ghost Terror for high damage Astral Barrages, Psychic, Palm Puff, and Drain Kiss for the other moves. Next up, got Urshfu Dark with a Sash. We actually have Taunt on this variant. No Sucker Punch. That... I was definitely struggling against some uh, Trick Room teams. So having Taunt on at least one Mon, especially going up against Ferrigarath who can stop my Sucker Punch, for instance, I think was very valuable. I needed... I think I needed more than Sucker Punch, essentially. Full Dark Terror on this boy for Hyper damage wicked blows next up i want to use a pokemon that i like so we got ogre pond heart flame in my in my opinion my favorite it's between fire and water but i think i like fire more but so we went with fire ivy color witch hammer spiky shield and follow me very basic grim snarl is up next i always love grim snarl my favorite pokemon in gen 8 by far basic set spirit break double screens and fake out with the light play obviously grass terror for extra help against maridon this way I can Terra, survive an Electro Drift, get a screen up, throw out a Spirit Break, things like that. And lastly, one of my favorite Pokemon, Gastrodon, Storm Drain, Rhino Berry, so we can live a Grassy Glide, very important, so we don't have to waste our Fire Terra. Icy Wind for Speed Control, Hydro Pump, Yawn, and Earth Power. This thing helps me out in Trick Room if Urshifu with Taunt does not do the job for me. Uh, I guess I didn't really go over that many EVs. Um... Anything like that was major? I don't think so. Cali Shadow, EV to live, Scarf, Urshifu, Surging Strikes, very good. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, as for Gastrodon, we actually have Max Special Bulk, we want a very basic set. This is because we can take less than 50% from Cali Shadow, particularly the Sash sets, and then we can like Icy Wind or Yawn them back, very important in my opinion. Um... Anything else? I think that's all. Talk about the Grimmsnarl EV to take Electro Drift. Yeah, I think that's all. Let's go ahead and get in some games. <laughs> Alright, first match, first match. Uh Oh, we got a Golden Ghost. It's been a while since I've seen that. We will definitely be using that in Reg H, man. I'm so excited. I'm ready for Reg G to be over. It really sucked. Well, I don't want to say it sucks. It's more so unfortunate that it's not coming back for 2025. That is... Wait, no. I misspoke. It is coming back for 2025, and that sucks. I actually would be so fine with Reg H just going until, like, I don't know, like, spring of 2025 or something. And then we just do double restricted formats for the last world. I I actually would be fine with it. I think Reg H is shaping to be really fun. Uh, but enough of that. We gotta focus on this. I'm fine with bringing Calyrex here. Um, question is, what else do I want to bring? I think Urshifu's fine. Um, 
Yeah, I think Urshu's good. Grimmsnarl will be good against Raging Bolt. Who do I want to bring last? Probably Gastro, I think. Just in case he gets Trick Room up. We'll go with this. Yeah, I will say that I what I just wasn't really that keen on making teams for Reg G that wasn't VGC challenges. I think this regulation just got so boring for me. That's why I kind of stopped making my own teams, like for quote unquote serious stuff. Um. Okay. My automatic assumption is that this this uh, golden go is scarf with a lead like this. You stop Sucker Punch potential. My guess is that you are actually Scarfed. I'm gonna switch my Calyrex out. Well, I feel like I know what the Going Go is gonna do. What is the Peregoraph gonna do? I'm gonna cover both options just in case this Going Go protects turn one. Because he protects Trick Rooms, I'm not going to be in a good spot. My thought would be it is Scarf, but okay, it's not. That, okay, so I wanted to do this specifically for this. With a lead like this, he was either going to be Scarf and try to instantly kill me with a Shadow Ball, or protect and try to Trick Room. So, it has Mental Orb, so Trick Room will be going up. Alright. We covered both options there, so I'm not mad at it. Uh, I probably just could have killed. Yeah, I could have. If it, I, I didn't want to risk it being Scarf and me dying, so I'm, I'm fine with the play. Um, but I could have just Wicked Blowed Dark Terra, right? I could have just Dark Terra Wicked Blowed. It probably would have killed. Uh, but I thought he would Terra Fairy, so. But he probably thought. He probably thought that I was going to attack his Go-and-Go, which is why he didn't do that. Um, okay, what do I want to do now is the question. He protected, so wait, I'm definitely- I think he'll tear his Go-and-Go. I don't think- if he were to tear his Perigraph, I feel it would have been last turn. Yeah, probably full steal. Uh, Fairy, that also makes sense. So, getting our light screen up will be very valuable here. <laughs> That's not how that works, buddy. Ah, uh, when giving Pokemon broken abilities don't work out for you. We ensure our live here, which is great. For our Sash, very nice. Yeah, good as gold is very broken, but that means it can't help in hand it, my friend. I hate to tell you. Oh my god, I didn't even need- I did not even need Dark Terra. I just could have killed it. Wow. Wow, wow, this guy really confused me. Huh. Because I could have just killed his uh Golden Go with Wicked Blow as well. Because I go through Protect because Urshifu is broken, you know. But the fact that he protected and didn't Terra, and then Terra's now very weird play. I'm not mad at it, just weird. Um, gonna do this. Very weird, very weird. Alright, we'll bring in this now. Oh, 
Hmm. What do I want to do here? Yawning it's not terrible. I'll go for this. Shorten the power of this golden go a little. Yeah, I probably... Hmm, I could have just stopped tricking. This is kind of lame. I could have just stopped it immediately. That kind of sucks. Huh. Yeah, yeah, he crit me. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, that really sucks. I don't know why. He must... That play, that first turn of his just doesn't make sense. Because even if he thought I was going to go for his Golden Go, there's no reason to protect in that situation. You would just fairy Terra. Like, <laughs> you would just Terra Fairy and you would have lived. I get that you would probably want to block the potential Astral Barrage, but... Fair. Weird. How weird. How weird. Okay. That was very weird. To be honest, I wasn't sure what the plan was there. Because if I just attack his fur graph, he loses. If I just attack it, he loses automatically. Which is so odd that he would just risk that. It's very weird to me that he would risk that. Oh, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't know why you're doing this. You better hope this kills me. This is like the last turn of Trick Room, I think. I don't know why he's protecting. Yeah, I don't know why he's protecting. If his last Pokemon's Cali Ice, I might just win. Yeah, Trick Room's over. Uh, what's your last Pokemon? Uh, okay. I don't know why this is the- I don't know why we're protecting. You could've just killed me. Oh, yeah, this. Never mind. Uh, I lose. Bummer. He did not bring his restricted. Very weird. Very weird. Um, okay, I'm not mad at it. I ain't mad at it, but it's definitely a weird play from him. If I just attack his Fair Graph, he just loses on the spot. Why would he risk that? So weird, dude. So weird. Why would he risk me killing his Fair Graph automatically? He had to be so confident that I was going to attack his Golden Go, but even if he was confident that I was going to attack his Golden Go with my Urshifu, there'd be no point in him protecting. And who would you even set Trick Room up for? Because you don't even have Cali Ice. Minshaw tends to be fast. Ogre Pond's not that slow either. What? Very weird. Very weird. Okay, sure. <laughs> Let's get our next one. I don't even want to think about that. Okay, next one. Oh, that first one was weird. Oh, I didn't even notice. They're freaking fireworks. I guess that's to commemorate worlds or something. That's cute. Um, okay. He sees my Calyrex. Uh, but that's probably Water Urshifu, so I'm not that concerned. I'm not that concerned. So I think we can just lead... Horn and Shadow. I think we can. There's one way to stop it is bring Grimmsnarl, but I don't really care if he does. We can bring Gastro in the back. Um, part of me wants to bring Hearthflame for the Amoongus. 
I think Urshifu also is okay. Eh, nah, let's just bring Urshifu. Let's just bring uh, Ogre Pond. You can redirect attacks. Yeah, we can redirect spores and whatnot. From our, I'm kind of. I don't know. I feel like I've seen Giga Drain on Amoongus. I feel like I have the worst luck against other Amoonguses. The every Amoongus I freaking play has Giga Drain on it for some reason. Ah. <sighs> All right. Oh, forgot to mention. Well, I think I mentioned it last week. We'll probably do a VGC challenge on Friday. We'll pro I'll probably upload it before World starts, but I'm definitely getting into a groove schedule-wise. Probably want to upload videos and such. Uh, this makes sense. Question is, do I just Astro Barrage anyway? <laughs> I kind of just want to ask for Barrage anyway. Uh, what would ruin that play? Right? He could be... Mm, with a lead like this, I'm going to Tailwind and be safe. Because there's a chance this thing actually might be Scarfed. Uh... I just ask for Barrage? I feel like I can, to be honest. I don't want to waste my... Ah, uh, well... It's not like Terra is all that meaningful here. I could just Ghost Terra. It's not like it's that meaningful. I can force this thing into uh, not water spouting me, so. Force an Origin Pro from this, potentially. So why not? Let's just try nuking him. I'm actually very interested to see how much damage this does after he sets up his light screen. His worst possible case is trying to fake me out. That would be terrible for him. Yep. What Terra? Water. Okay. Bad idea. <laughs> oh, bad idea. So, this Kyogre is definitely Scarfed. He was definitely Scarfed. This is gonna hurt you. A lot. This Kyogre was definitely Scarfed if he was gonna make that play. I hope you went for Origin Pulse. Oh, that's you went for Water Spout, bummer. That's not gonna do much. Still killed my Torn though. But Torn did his job, so. We'll probably set up his light screen now. Which is perfectly fine. Uh, let me give him a choice in which screen he wants to set up. He either sets up his reflect or his light screen. I'm fine either way. I'm so shocked that still did over half to Grimstone. That's crazy. So it literally allows me... Wait, hold on. Who does he have in the back? I feel like that Amoongus is probably in the back. I don't really... I'm not really in a spot where I have to predict. Even so, I kind of want to. Eh, I don't have to. I don't have to. Yeah, sets up light screen, that's fine. Uh, the worst case scenario was him going for free. The worst case scenario was him going for fake out. The worst case scenario for him at least. I feel like Covert Cloak is such a That's why I never fake out Torn. Especially in best of one, I'm not I'm not even gonna bother risking it. Even when I'm like hyper positive that it's Sash. Nah. Not even gonna risk it. Uh I probably can just follow me and win the game. Depending on what his last two Pokemon are. Jesus Christ. People love disturbing me when I make videos. Uh, let's see if this, uh, oh, he does have Chrono in the back. Look at him. Look at him. Um, uh, my play's the same. He'll follow me. Are you kidding me? Someone just bars into my room, by the way. I really should start locking my door. I really should.
Okay. Let's see if this torn is sashed. Ooh. Okay. Did have Aqua Jet. Very nice. Goodbye. It's not Sash, folks. It's over. It's over. <laughs> That's the power. This is why this is a top two restricted baby. To be honest, I do think Kali Ice is probably better. But what I like about Kali Shadow more than Kali Ice is far more versatile. You can run Sash, you can run Specs, you can run Life Orb. So many different things. You kind of have to run Clear Amulet on your uh, Kali Ice. You kind of have to. Or else Incineroar would eat that thing for, for breakfast. And lunch. And dinner. And a midnight snack. Alright, GG to my man. Let's get another one. Uh, oh, a Reuniclus. Okay. That's cool. Very cool. Not gonna stop me from doing this. He could potentially have a Scarf Rodri Drago, I guess. Which would be bad. But that's why we're gonna bring Grimstone for switch out potential. And I think we can just bring Overbond. I think we're good to go. I don't even know if we need Kyle. Do we need Gastrodon for this? I actually don't even think we need him. I think just having him will scare this guy enough. Hmm. I think this guy would just be scared to go for it regardless. I don't even think we need to do anything major. Ogre Pond's fine. Um. He's probably not bringing me in. Yeah, he's probably still results to it, though. Forcing him into CC is far better. Yeah. We'll go with this. This is... I'm only going to lead Calyrex just in case he's crazy enough to still lead Tornogre. Because it doesn't seem like a Scarf team. Well, Scarf Kyogre team at least. Yeah. It's this freaking thing. We know the play. Not scarfed. So this is Trick Room from him. Uh, that kind of sucks. Or just Psychic. That's also, I guess. I don't know why you would do it towards my Calyrex. That's odd. But uh, okay, sure. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I see a big bleak win right here. Oh, we hit both. We're legends. Okay. I don't know why you're still going for dragon energy. I mean, but sure. I suppose you can do that if you want. I suppose. <laughs> All right, bro. I don't. I don't know what you were doing. Yeah, I don't. I haven't seen a protect on Reggie Draco like ever. Always choiced. 
That's okay. Uh, we'll get one more, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just get one more. Do our four battle limit. I'm counting that as a battle. I'm counting it. Okay, last one. Ooh, against a superior team. Cool. Um, still has gets a defense boost. Hmm. All right, killing this thing's not going to be easy. Um, could do this. I don't even have much interest in setting Tailwind this game. I don't even have a ton of interest in doing it. But if I didn't, leading this is probably a little more favorable. I can fake out the Nine Tails by killing it immediately with Terra Ghost Astral Barrage. Uh, what stops a play like this, though? Him leading Incineroar, although I cannot. I mean, I guess he could bring Incineroar here. It's not terrible. Incineroar is not terrible, I guess. I think I definitely want Urshifu. And the last one's probably Ogre Pond. The question is whether or not... Uh, the question is what I want to lead. His obvious lead is Ninetales Calyrex or Grimmsnarl Calyrex. And my means of stopping it is not high. My means of stopping him doing that is not high. I'm going to do that. I might be able... Because even if he gets screens up, I don't think it's the end of the world. If I lead Urshifu, I can taunt his uh, Calyrex. I lose if he gets Trick Room up. I don't automatically lose if he gets screens up. That's kind of my thought process. But yet he does this, which like at this point, I have no idea what he's thinking. <laughs> uh, then he does this, and I no longer have any idea what he's trying to do. Um, is this thing literally just for fake outs and parting shots? If it is, I mean, whatever. Um, but if I can, like, kill this Nine Tails immediately, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna save my sash real quick. Cause if he wants to leave this, I don't, I'm not really in. I don't think I like need to use my Urshifu right now. Again, his worst play is try fake outing my Grim. Oh, T-Wave. Okay, that's fine. Bummer, but it's fine. I don't want you to parting shot. But we're gonna fake you out. Don't want you to parting shot just yet. This one's far more specially bulky, this Grim. Don't freeze me, please. Thank you. And we're not getting full parrot, which is very good. <clears throat> very good. And we get a boost here, which is nice. We'll set up Reflect next turn, which is very good. We're in a good spot. In a good spot. Because there's no way this cat Unless this Cali Ice is max speed, it's not faster than me, so. Even if I get parrot. So it's whatever. Uh, who else did he have on this team? I completely forget. I know Incineroar and Kali Ice. 
I don't know the other two. I forget the other two, that is. Okay, so this thing's going to Terra. Terra into what is the question. But my play seems pretty obvious here. With this boost, I'll be back to neutral, even if he parting shots, which is nice. Uh, fire. That's fine. Yeah, my Ogre Pond's kind of useless against it now, but it's whatever. Dang, we are not getting full parrot. My luck is elite. My luck is elite. Oh, we live. Oh my god. Yes. 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 The Cloud Watcher. Who is this? Archaladon? Incineroar. Okay. I do not care. <laughs> I do not care. Um. As long as we don't get full paired, we're eating. And we're eating good. I will say, Cali, Cali Shadow is best versatility in its moves and item. Cali Ice is better diversity in Terra, but Cali Shadow really only is going to go for Fairy or Ghost. Cali Shadow, Cali, God, I keep saying freaking Cali's. It's it's mixing me up. Let's see if we can hit. If we get full parrot, I I would understand. Let's be real, I would understand. Oh, but we don't because my luck is elite. Now, as I was saying, Cali Ice has a lot of Terra variety that Cali Shadow doesn't have. But Cali Shadow has the item variety and moveset variety that uh, Cali Ice doesn't have. Balances out nicely. They're both broken, though, so I hate them both. But we got to find a Reg G team, especially if we're going to keep playing this back in 2025 comes. I, I cannot talk today. When 2025 comes. And because of that, we got to put up with it. But I do like this team. Golly, Shadow's boring as all hell, but... Oh, you gotta use what's good sometimes, folks. Especially in restricted formats. Okay, GG to my man. The team's successful, overall, I think. Decent, decent, decent. The one game I lost, I could've just won instantly. <laughs> But my opponent was crazy, so it is what it is. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to try making more teams for serious play. Because y'all seen a lot of my VGC challenges, but you don't see a lot of my like actual teams that I make for like ranking up and stuff. So maybe I'll get more of those in the future. But still then, like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy Worlds if you're going. I'm not going. Uh, but I will have a VGC challenge out tomorrow. Hopefully early, like around 2 before Worlds starts. I don't even know where World starts, but it probably starts before, after two. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. I was Garen signing off. I'll catch y'all later.